Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do my plan with me for October 28th through November 3rd. As you can see, there's kind of a lot going on. Um, and it's not really even a whole lot going on, just mostly like Declan's birthday stuff. Um, but first, let's get um, my stuff up here. So we're going to have work these days. And then I actually took the rest of the week off. And a big part of that is um, Thursday's Halloween, so it's trick-or-treating. And then Friday, I was supposed to go babysit for my brother, but he had his dates mixed up. But um, Saturday is Declan's birthday party, so it's just easier to just have the whole time off. All right. Mm, I lost my train of thought, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do... Put in here... I don't know where my little one is. There it is. Okay. What is going on here? I don't know what that is. It's like Play-Doh, kind of. Okay, anyway, sorry. Okay, so we're going to have 620 to 650 is swim. All right, so there's that. There will be basketball practice on Monday. I just don't know what time it's going to be at. So we're just going to plan for him to go to basketball instead of swim, but I want swim to be in here too. And it would be super handy if they were just in the same building because then he could do both if they're not at the same time. But of course they're not. And then I actually need to pull one of these sticky notes because on Friday Declan will have a makeup swim class but I don't know what time that's gonna be at yet so we're just gonna put that up here and we'll put the basketball up here all right I love not knowing what time things are at, and I should know by today, the day that I'm filming this, I'm supposed to have the basketball schedule, but I do not, so. All right. So I am gonna put in here, I don't normally put Declan's like daycare schedule in here, but I want it I want him to have a good solid day of daycare with his Halloween costume. Because, um, and then I will put in here like, we'll start at 630 probably. Um, Halloween is basically a day just for Declan, so it's daycare, music, and then trick or treating. It is by far one of his favorite holidays. Um, he keeps changing his mind. For a whole year, he wanted to be a zombie, and now he wants to be a dinosaur, and I'm a little upset. I was really looking forward to him being a zombie. All right. Anyway, so 
let's see, then we've got from 1 until 2.30 is Declan's birthday party. And it can go longer than that. Like, we're not super picky, but the room, the place that we reserved um, their party room at only does hour and a half blocks of time. So that's why it's just 1 to 2.30 because it was like 1 to 2.30 or um, 3 to 4.30. So I thought that that would be better, um, a better option. And then I definitely want to make sure... that we have all of these things. Mama. What, baby? Um, I want you to fix this. Uh, will you stop talking like a baby? I want you to fix this. That's not even your toy. I thought you were giving that to Graham. But it's big. Yeah, but you don't play with it anymore. I play with this. No, you don't. All right, so Sunday also I've got my spring term ends, and it's not spring, school, my school term, the fall C term ends, and I'm going to put up here module 8, because I've been, like, forgetting and not keeping track, so, like, this week I had to put module seven, but yeah, that's kind of how that's going. And then I don't think we actually have a whole lot going on besides his birthday party. Let me check October. Um, yeah, not, not a ton going on other than that. So Let's put in some solid homework time. And Halloween, we're not really doing anything, so I'm going to actually put my homework time up here while he is at daycare. And then Friday, Friday's still kind of open because I don't know when... His swim will be, um, or anything like with swim, or if I'm in a door dash, um, Saturday, I probably won't door dash, so I will put homework on Saturday. And probably on Sunday night. Especially because everything is due for the whole term. Anything we haven't done is due on Sunday. So I definitely want to make sure that everything is going to get done. And then, so for this we'll put this time in for door dashing. Um, Wednesday I'll probably go out. So we'll do that from like 11 till 5. And like I said, Thursday I probably won't go out at all. Um, just because like my town gets crazy with Halloween. Um, 
Friday, I'm actually, I'm going to put in here Friday, like 11... Eleven to five, and then I'll put homework from six till ten. And then I do want to see about getting some homework done in the morning before his birthday party. All right. And I hope you guys kind of like like how I do this. Um, I'm honestly I've been thinking a lot about switching to just the daily planners for 2020, um, the Erin Condren Petite Dailies, and I've been debating a lot about it because I do these plan with me's every week, and I don't know how I would do a plan with me. Um. I almost wrote door wash. Uh, I don't know how I would do a plan with me with the daily planners and um, all that stuff. So I've been going back and forth a lot. Like I think it would honestly work better for me because I haven't really touched this planner a ton. Like I, I write in it and I get all the stuff down and I kind of check it, but I don't check it a ton during the week. Five. Okay. Yeah, I don't like look at it a whole lot during the week. And it, it really bugs me because I love these life planners and I have a ton of covers and I think I need to quit ordering covers. But like the binders... I've thought about because she has the, I can get the hourly version or I can get the daily version, but I think that's just going to be too big. I just need something petite size with a weekly layout and a daily layout. And I don't know. I'm getting really hard to please, I think. Top three priorities. And then I'm going to actually make this a to-do list. I haven't done this in a while. Use my sidebar for to-do, but I think it'll be fine. And then we'll leave this one kind of blank. But yeah, so this is kind of how my week is going. I do like having this line at the bottom like I've been doing. It kind of, I don't, know that I even use this bottom space a ton, but it helps me to kind of separate the space, I think. And if anything, I could actually, well, I don't need 10, 11, 12, 1. I don't really need it to go that long, but um, yeah, so there's my week so far. Um, that's how it's looking. Very boring and plain. But anyway, so I'm going to end this here. Um, give me some feedback on this. Like I love how it's so much simpler and it's a lot less stressful. Um, it's basically how I've been doing my daily planner stuff is just pen and highlighters and stuff like that. But yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know. Um, I really enjoy doing it this way, but I also, like I said, I haven't, let's see, like this for this week, I think I did my plan. I wrote in it on like Monday. As you can see, I did not add my DoorDash pay. I didn't add any more homework stuff. So I think I really just did Monday and then just kind of left it for the rest of the week. So like, like I said, I don't use this a ton anymore. And I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure. So anyway, uh, give me some feedback, pointers, tips, anything you can. And I'm going to end this here. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.